Jeopardy presents Mickey Mouse. Well, hi, folks. With Minnie, Donald Duck, and all the Disney gang. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe who had so many children she didn't know what to do. Hey, what goes on here? What's the idea, Minnie? Why, John, haven't you heard? Oh, heard what? <laughs> Uh, today we're all going back to Mother Gooseland to see the old woman who lived in the shoe. The old woman who lived in the shoe? Well, swell. Yeah. She sent us an invitation to come to the birthday party she's giving for her kitties. Yeah. Uh, you see, she just gives one party a year for all of them. Oh, I see. So that's why all of you are so loaded down with presents, yeah, huh? Yeah, sure. What did he say? He said that politeness is to do and say the kindest thing in the kindest way. Oh, can you beat that? Say, what's that book he's reading? It's the Golden Road to Goodness, or Gems of Truth for Budden Youth. <laughs> hey, Mickey, is, is Donald all right? Oh, yeah, sure. He's reformed. He's practicing all the virtues. Well, but why? What's what's happened? Well, come here, Donald. I want to show John how good you are. Oh, mama. <laughs> why, he's blushing. Yeah, it's shyness, John. Hey, Donald, you know that song you made up about self-control? Would you like to sing it for us? Uh, you don't like that song. What? You can't sing? Shh, John, it's modesty. Modesty? Yeah. Blushing, politeness. Mickey, it's too much. I've just got to sit down. Carry on, will you? Oh, yeah, sure, John. You just take it easy for a minute. And now, introducing Felix Mills' own arrangement of London Bridge has fallen down. Stealing my stuff, huh? Yeah. Well, who won your contest, Mickey? Uh, we thought we'd leave that up to you, John. Uh, will you be the judge? Sure thing, gang. Well, who's first? How about you, Goofy? Well, shots okay, John. I kind of read a poem, but I couldn't squeeze all the words in. I had two left over. Two words? Well, that's a small matter. Let's hear it. Okay, but remember, I ain't no Rembrandt. <laughs> my poem... Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow, but Mary's teeth was surface-stained and very dull, and so Mary bought some pepsodent and brushed them very clean. Now, though her teeth are sparkling bright, 
her little lamb is green with envy. <laughs> not bad, Goofy. It may not be good poetry, but it's a darn good idea. Yeah. Uh, Clara's next, John. Okay, Clara. Suppose you just tell me what you wrote, and I'll repeat it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Say, that's not bad. Here's Clara's entry, gang. I may not be the smartest one, but still I'm not the dumbest. Pepsodent with irium, no grit, no bleach, no pumice. Oh, Yo. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Minnie? Well, on account of Snow White was with us last week, John, I made up one about her in the Seven Dwarfs. You mean you wrote about Pepsodent using the names of Snow White, Doc? Grumpy, sneezy, happy, bashful, sleepy, and dopey? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Want to hear it, John? I certainly do. Go ahead, Minnie. All right. Um, don't be grumpy if the duck tells you your teeth look dopey. Because <laughs> if you're not too sleepy to make a trip to the corner drugstore, you won't have to be bashful about smiling in public. Because you'll be happy to learn an easy thing to get Snow White brilliance by using Pepsodent with Irium. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, there's a contest with all winners. For as many and Goofy pointed out, Pepsodent with Irium gently rubs away dull, dingy surface stains, leaving your teeth bright and glistening in all their natural brilliance. And as Clara said, it does it safely, for Pepsodent with Irium contains no grit, no bleach, no pumice. <laughs> Hey, Mickey, I'm still baffled about Donald. I, I just don't understand it. Oh, well, uh, I guess you better tell him, Minnie. Well, you see, John, Donald's being good because he's a godfather. A godfather? Uh -huh. Yeah. You see, the old woman in the shoe had so many children, she run out on names. So she named one of the kids after Donald. Oh, I'm beginning to understand. Yeah, and uh, Donald has to set the kid a good example today. Yes, John. Donald feels his new responsibility something awful. Yeah. He's just loaded down with presents for the kids. And beautiful thoughts, too, Goofy. Yeah, Pips. That golden book he's got is just parched with beautiful thoughts. I simply can't believe it. Donald, a godfather. It's all very touching. Oh, now I'm very touching. Well, go ahead, Mickey. Call the magic mirror. I've got nothing more to say. Okay, John. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Play in the magic mirror. I command thee to appear. Master, what is thy command? Uh, Mayor, we'd like to go with you to see the old woman who lives in the shoe. It shall be as you desire. Well, so long, gang. Give my regards to the new godchild. <laughs> Gee, the party started. Listen to the music, Minnie. Oh, there's the shoe house. Yeah, and look at all the kids swinging on their shoelaces. Gosh, the guy that wore that shoe could wear the Brown Derby Cafe for a hat. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, gee, I never saw so many kids in my life. Hey, I wonder where the old woman is. There she is, Mickey. Right. Over there in that rocking chair. Gosh, them kids are sure having a good time, all right. Let's listen to them, huh? Children couldn't wait. <laughs> the little angels have been dancing all afternoon. All afternoon. All afternoon. Children! <laughs> Look who's here! <laughs> Why, Esmeralda, stop making faces at Uncle Mickey. Aren't you ashamed? Uh, uh, that's all right. Kids will be kids. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> that's what I always say. Kids will be kids. Oh, but sometimes I think I'll go nuts. I think I'll go nuts. Go nuts. Bless their little hearts. <laughs> Bless their little hearts. Oh. <laughs> uh, step out here, Donald, so everybody can get a look at you. All right. Hey, kids, how about saying hello to Donald Duck? Well, uh, 
Come on, say something. Uncle Donald, are you the duck in the movie? Uh-huh. That's right. Gee, you're an awful actor. <laughs> oh, well, I want. Uh, uh, not to change the subject, but where's little Donnie? Oh, yes, Donald's just dying to meet his little godson. Oh, yes, 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 absolutely. And he's simply dying to meet you. Oh, gracious, yes. He's seen all your pictures, Donald. You have no idea what an influence you are on the little precious. Oh, the little precious. It's downright amazing how little Donnie gets more like you every day. Here comes the little angel now. Come here, Butch! <laughs> Oh, they call him Butch at the reforms. <coughs> reforms. <coughs> reforms. <coughs> oh, well. <laughs> hey, Donald, look. He walks just like you do. Now, Donald, remember your responsibilities as a godfather. You've got to be a good example. Hey, Ma, what do you think? I just gave that dog on Palooka next door a black eye. <coughs> Quiet, you. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Am I hot? Am I hot? Woo, woo. Oh, what a disappointment. Oh, shut up. Hey, Ma, who's the sort of stork? Oh, you'd never guess. <laughs> it's your very own dear godfather, Donald Duck. Well, what's the matter with a big sissy? Don't he feel good? Oh, fine. And how are you, my little godson? Godson, eh? Well, listen to me, you doggone flat-footed puddle pusher. You want to fight? You want to fight? Oh, no, 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 no. Not me. Quit, Donald. You better tell him the one about politeness. Politeness, um, So what? don't say the kindest thing in the kindest way. So what? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? He's Donald's spitting image. Uh, uh, steady, uh, Donald. Uh, steady now. Uh, uh, maybe I'd better show little Donnie the flute you brought him. Oh, thank you, Uncle Donald. That's very, very considerate of you. What? Gosh, Donald, he talks just like you do, too. Well, uh, well, something very about this. Oh, well. Yep, my boy. Ah, oh, what's beautiful about a tin flute? Oh, yeah, but uh, Donald's going to teach you how to play it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look, Donnie, you just watch how Uncle Donald plays it, and I'll chime in with a few hot licks and my harp, and one of Donald's musicians will play the buzzer phone. Ah, oh, pooey. Get going, you dope. All right. <laughs> one for the money, two for the show. Three for my money, and four to go. a chisel. A chisel? Well, you said it was a marble cake, didn't you? <laughs> you better just give her a knife, Goofy, and she'll cut it all right. Yeah? I could have swore she'd have to sculpt it. Come on, children. Gather around. Let's cut, cut the cake, cake that we baked bake for you. Baked bake for you. Baked bake for you. Forty-four layers of elegant goo, especially for our birthday. It's, it's got, got a frosting of chocolate, chocolate too. Chocolate too. Chocolate too. It's full of raisins and nuts for you. And nuts too, Uncle Donald. <laughs> Donnie, Donnie, watch your manners. Children, behave. Here come your mother, Gooseland friends. Oh, 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 Simon, <laughs> he looks kind of stupidish. Yeah, gosh, there's Jack and Jill. 
Broadway Jack and Jill from up the hill. We came on our toboggan. But thanks to Jill, I took a spill and landed on my noggin. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> Everybody's here. Little Bob Peep and Jack Carter and the three little kittens. Three little kittens have lost a mitten for baby in a flight. Our mother dear, be sadly dear, we'll warm the fun tonight. Our dear mother kitten will give us a mitten, and also our hands will go with it. Meow, meow, meow. And we do meow. Boy, look who just blew in. I'm Little Boy Blue, I'm the junior of jazz, and I've got rhythm like nobody has. Oh, a rooty toot toot, and a rhythm of tail, skedaddle, skedaddle, shave on a haircut, sick bit. <laughs> Hello, Bonnie. Hello, Little Boy Blue. What'd you bring us, huh? What's in the package? Well, uh, why don't you look for yourself? Go ahead, uh, unwrap it. <laughs> What did you say, Donald? Oh, I guess I misunderstood you. <laughs> Isn't Donnie cute? Oh, hey, Minnie, uh, how about playing us something on the new piano, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, Mickey. There are two toy pianos. Why not let's play a duet, huh? Oh, I say, I guess you got something there. Well, hurry up, come on. Okay, well, and Minnie's birds are gonna sing with you. I'm there. 
He then started cramming with pickles and salmon, which gave him a big ba- uh, gosh. <laughs> Well, 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 well
Return at once or dwell forever here. Okay, Mel. Come on, gang. We've got a scram. Ah, go? go? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't go yet. Oh, gracious, no. I simply won't let you go. You can't go. I won't let you go. Goodbye. Uncle Donald. Uncle Donald. <coughs> Looky, here's a present for you, and I made it up all myself. Magnificent. Oh, yeah, Donald. What the world needs is more ducks like you. <laughs> oh, we're all so proud of you, Donald. But let's hurry up and see what's in the package Donnie gave you. Huh? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's a little homemade phonograph record. Oh, buy a record. Hey, I wonder what's on it. Well, let's play it and find out. That's a great idea. Oh, quiet, gang. Here it goes. Oh, okay, Donald. This is your little Donnie speaking, and I made this record just for you. Oh. I wrote a little poem to tell you how much I love my dear, dear godfather, and it's called My Ideal. Oh. How sweet. My Ideal. Whose smiling face hangs on my wall? Who do I like the bestest of all? Who will I someday be like, I hope? Oh, Not you, you dish-faced <laughs> If you want the true facts about the remarkable effectiveness of pepsodent-containing irium, try this modern New Day Denifrice yourself. Let your own mirror prove to you that pepsodent is more effective, more thorough. Just do this. Brush your teeth twice a day with pepsodent-containing irium. After a short time, examine your teeth in a mirror. Notice the improvement. Notice how Pepsodent with Irium has gently brushed away those dingy surface stains and polished your teeth to their full natural sparkle. Pepsodent, we believe, is unusually effective because Pepsodent alone contains that remarkable new cleansing agent, Irium. What's more, Pepsodent with Irium is completely safe. It contains no grit, no pumice, no drugs. Try it today. What's the idea of trudging off with all that cardboard under your arm? Oh, I'm just going to make something, John. Well, that's swell, but uh, what? It's a deep, dark secret, John. He won't even tell me. Well, can't you even give us a hint, Mickey? Well, uh, gee, uh, okay. It's, uh, it's got something to do with a movie camera. Ooh. A movie camera? Oh, Mickey, that's wonderful. Oh, yep, yep, yep. But that's all I can say now. I'll tell you more about it next week. Well, don't forget, that's a promise. See you all next week, gang. Yeah, bye. again next Sunday at the same time when the Pepsi Dent Company will again present Mickey Mouse and all the Disney gang. The orchestra and musical arrangements were under the direction of Felix Mill. This program has come to you from the Disney Little Theater on the RKO lot. Heard on the program were Someday My Prince Will Come, Whistle While You Work, and Hi-Ho from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> John Heaston speaking for the Pepsodent Company. This is... The... <laughs>
That's right, Donald. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs>